What's up everybody? Hope all y'all are doing alright. Well here in Tennessee it's muzzleloading season right now and gun season opens up in two days so I decided to get all my stuff out and see what I needed to add to it. Uh, seems like every deer season I lose stuff and I've lost some deer calls and some other stuff and I need some extra batteries. So as I had all my stuff out I decided to go ahead and make a video kind of show you what I carry. Uh, I decided to start making some hunting videos. Now my hunting videos ain't going to be as good as uh, most people that don't have the tripods and the, the stuff to connect to the deer stands and the two or three cameras or the GoPro cameras. I'm just going to try to film kind of like a location, hopefully get some uh, animals on camera and possibly even a shot uh, and show the aftermath. And I would love to uh, do reviews to where after I kill a deer, for example, like this bull I got, show the damage that it done. Now I did a video a few weeks ago when me and my dad went muzzleload hunting uh, two Saturdays ago. I didn't kill nothing but he did I had a great video made. I get home, put it on the computer and I accidentally deleted it somehow so I've got to get better at that. But I'll just jump right into it real fast. A few things that I'll be carrying. I decided I've got a bunch of deer rifles but I want so bad to kill something with this Ruger American and I'll show you that in a minute. But of course, y'all know I got the GP100. I got several Ruger revolvers. I got a 44 mag. But I decided to keep carry this one because I like sometimes to get down out of the stand and walk. And uh, that seven and a half inch barrel, I ain't got a holster for it yet. So this 357 with this Outbags holster I got off of uh, Amazon is excellent. Six shot 357. If a doe comes close enough, I'm liable to shoot it. I love Ruger. Got this three knot uh, light right here. This is a Hoss. Uh, you need a good light if you shoot one late in the afternoon and gets dark. Something to really shine out there and this would be like a, uh, I gotta get some new batteries in it. But this would be more like a spotlight that you can really see on out there uh, if you're having to go through some woods and some hollers and stuff. So I always get a good light. Uh, this is just a backup little headlamp, a little energizer. Y'all see me do videos on this one. I got headlamps absolutely everywhere in my house. I love cheap headlamps. And this is one I just have extra in, in the bag that I had out. I will be shooting this uh, American White Tail Hornady 223 60 grain interlock. Uh, it's supposed to mushroom out kind of like the, I believe they said like the core lock on the Remington. So we'll see at 60 grain. Uh, the deer down here don't get real big. And uh, so if I have a good shot, a good clean shot on one, I'm gonna take it. And I will definitely let y'all know how uh, the aftermath is and see what this old 223 can do. Now don't go ahead and start telling me I need something bigger because I've got bigger rifles. I just personally want to kill one with this one because I've seen it done before. And we got the uh, Ruger American Ranch Edition Flat Dark Earth, the Monstrum Tactical uh, Scope Mounts. You got the Nikon Pro Staff. No, this is Nikon Buck Buckmaster, I'm sorry. Uh, great little combo right here. I love this little gun. It shoulders good when you throw it up there, it's right on your eye. Clear scope for a budget price. This is just a good gun. You see how small it is? I love carbine type guns. You can uh, put one in there real fast, get a nice little butt stop. Now, I've seen on the Ruger forum, and I've seen it on Facebook, uh, up in Michigan, they're making this exact rifle in 450 Bushmaster. Get online right now, Google it. I'm hoping that Ruger, Ruger does like a mass run of them next year because that's one, gonna be one of the first guns that I buy. Cause I've loved this gun so much and I've always wanted the 450 Bushmaster. Could you imagine a 450 Bushmaster and this deer hunting down here in Tennessee? Oh my gosh, that would that'd be all you would need. 250 grain bullet that you can shoot up to 300 yards in a carbine. Lord have mercy. Uh, but this is what I got now. This is what I'm gonna be using, 223. And we'll see how she does. Just a few things my bag of fast. This is a SOG bag I got a few years ago and it's actually got like 10,000 views from the video I made. This is just a Ninja Day Pack. I used it as a uh, hunting bag. It's, it's held up great for three deer seasons now. This is the main headlamp I'll be using. This is the Diamond, uh, <coughs> Diamond Series. Black Diamond, I'm sorry. I forgot the name of it. I've had it, I've already been using it the last time I went hunting. Excellent light, lights up the whole area. Uh, Black Diamond makes some good stuff. Uh, it's got a little bandana in here and some extra ammo. Let's move to the stuff that y'all really like. Of course, the old Benchmade Mountain Skinner. Love this knife, it's beautiful, looks good, and uh, definitely made for skinning. And I'm hopefully, hopefully be skinning a deer this weekend. Of course, I got a bunch of little knives like this laying around. Because you always need a little extra uh, skin and knives laying around. This is a little buck. You can get these for like $15 at Walmart. Super sharp. I mean, it is sharp. 
and that's just something extra to have if you don't want to grind down and, and mess up your good blades. And of course, I've had this one for years. And this is what really made me light buck is this one right here. And it's a uh, super sharp made in the USA. Good little knife, good little extra knife to have. Hot hands, of course. Everybody needs some hot hands, don't they? Love hot hands. I try to keep it stocked up, especially when it goes on sale after deer season. I always have a few extra ones in there. Because it, sometimes it does actually get cold in Tennessee, but uh, bug spray, snake bite kit. We got uh, timber rattlers on our land. Cause we're, we're, our land's close to the river. A lot of timber rattlers on there. So, and where we're at, we're so secluded, no service. You need a snake bite kit. So, uh, I actually stole this one from my dad. So he wants it back. But he's gonna get another one. <laughs> Matches just in case I have to survive. You never know. I had to cook my deer out there in the woods. A uh, little seven point I killed when I was in high school. I got these as my rattler horns. Uh, put them around your neck. You know, and, and do a little rattling. I know they ain't big. I'm gonna choke myself. I know they ain't that big, but you know, hit a little rattle. Maybe one in there. I've had it happen before. Little first aid kit and uh, another bandana. So I've got to do some stocking up. There's a lot of stuff I still need in here. I definitely need a uh, batteries, backup batteries. I'm definitely gonna put some a bottle of water in there and uh, maybe some beef jerky. And I definitely, definitely need a, uh, what is that I definitely need that I don't have a deer call. I don't have a deer call. I don't have my deer pee or anything like that or buck bomb. So I gotta go to Walmart and put that in there because I've lost it from last year. So that's it guys. I'm ready for deer season. Hope y'all have a great season. I'm going to try to get my best to make a deer hunt video. It may be the worst you've ever seen. Even if I don't kill one, I'll still put it on there just so I have something to reflect back on. But here's my stuff, the main stuff, the goodies. Of course, is the bench made. You got the rifle, you got the 357. So we'll see if we can put a hunt together and kill one and uh, have some good old deer meat. I'll holler at y'all later and uh, hopefully see y'all Saturday afternoon on YouTube, skinning the big buck.